So what we're going to do is we're going to go on a fool's journey. It's a circle. So the first card that we have is the fool. It's a zero. All the major arcana are zero through 21. And the fool is not what it means in American English. It means like um, in old English, it means know that you know nothing. You are a rookie. You don't know what to expect. You're so excited. We're only going to do these upright. Um, but it's just to keep in mind that you know nothing and that you are staying aware because you are going on a trip. You packed your little bag. It's like a sunny day. The next one that we have on our wheel is the magician. This is number one, technically. And the magician is attention. So the magician is, um, the number two, so it's number two in the initiation process, if we were. And what this magician has is all four of the elements. So he has pentacles, the cups, the wand, and the sword. It's also as above, so below, in the infinity sign. So the magician is reminding you that you're starting off and you have everything that you need inside of you. Um, the magician also reminds you to be yourself. The next card that we have, can you see this? Okay, cool, is the High Priestess. The High Priestess is number two, and this is intuition. This is listen to your instinct. Your High Priestess is also the one that is the still small voice, and it's your imagination. So, oh, I'm sorry, it's your memory, not your imagination. She reminds you of who you are. She's the still small voice inside of you. So we have the fool is zero, the magician is one, and the high priestess is two. Then we have the empress. The empress is number three. These are not new cards, um, but hopefully you can still see it. So the empress, the empress is your imagination. And she is also um, telling you to create. She's the birth, she's birthing. This is the sign of the symbol of the woman. She's the, well, this is a three, oh, I was gonna say, three's a perfect trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Um, the Empress is who you need on your journey. So the magician is that you are born with everything you need inside of you. The High Priestess is your intuition. Listen to that still small voice. And then this is your mom, the Empress. And the emperor is your dad. And he's a number four. Can you still see these? Okay. He's a number four, so he's a pillar. The emperor also reminds you to respect yourself. So in your journey on life, you have a mom and a dad. They're the head of the household. He wants you to stay true to yourself and respect yourself. The empress wants you to create. The high priestess wants you to listen to that still small voice. Don't forget who you are. The magician is everything that you need is inside of you. And you're the little fool. Then we have the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is here to remind you to obey. We have all of these earthly rules, and this could be your earth journey. Um, you're the fool on the earth journey every time you do it. Um, that's obey. It's tradition. It's reminding you that there are rules and laws and orders in place. Um, also in your journey in life, in the old times too, especially the next person you would meet would be your priest. So he wants you to remember to obey him. And he's also, um, I would say law and order, like traditionally law and order, like the priest in the old days, you'd meet your parents and then the priest. So anytime you see anything that it doesn't necessarily have to be church related, it could be anything, but that's what the Hierophant is. And then we have the lovers. How we look? Okay. Um, the lovers are reminding you to follow your heart. So this is like high school love. You fall in love with the, for the very first time and that you love so hard because you don't know how much a heartbreak can hurt. <laughs> like no one loved like their first high school. Well, maybe they did, but in my experience, 
that was like your first true love. And then you go in with your, your eyes wide open. Um, this could be a coach, your higher friend could be the coach. The lovers is also reminding you that um, just follow your heart and don't, I don't know, it just reminds me of young love. The next one that we have is the chariot. So next we have the chariot and the chariots remind you to keep going. So this could be like your college time, like you gotta leave the nest, you're gonna go out into the world and you're just gonna keep going. The chariot, like, I mean, it can be a, <laughs> anything, a car, train, plane, automobile. Um, this is like reminding you that the world is a big place. You don't have to stay here. Be receptive to the signs and symbols that come around you. So after the chariot, we have strength. Let me make sure. Yeah, okay, good. So this woman, she's tamed a lion. This is like your inner strength. Um, believe in yourself. You've got this. Um, so now you've left home, you're off to college or whatever you do. And to remember that you have all the strength that you need inside of you. Then we have the hermit. How are we doing on space? Okay, the hermit is reminding you to go inside. Um, meditate on it. Don't make rash decisions. This is the sage. He's bringing the light to the darkness. Um, this is reminding you to go inside. Don't make rash decisions. Don't do anything like without asking the still small voice. So then after we have the hermit, we have the Wheel of Fortune. And that's when, oh, you're going for your new job. You're spinning the Wheel of Fortune. You're going with the flow. So now I'm going to start going around in the circle this way so that you can still, see, hopefully you can still see all of these. Um, so you're just going to go with the flow, spin the wheel and <laughs> go for the best. And then we have justice. Oh, that you can't really see. Okay. So we got off on the wheel. I'm gonna just move the hermit over so you can still see him because we're going around in a circle, except this is an awkward circle. Okay, then we have justice. Justice is the law and it's reminding you to do the right thing. So mommy and daddy, you're not at their house anymore. They're not really protecting you but you learned what you need to do before you got out here on your own. You had an emperor and an empress. You had a hierophant teaching you. You learned to go inside and to trust your intuition. So you want to do the right thing. And then after justice, we have the hanged man. So he's just literally hanging there. Um, that's also telling you, you're seeing things from a new perspective. You're taking your time. You're not making super rash decisions. You're going to meditate, trust your intuition. And then you're hanging in there. You're checking everything out from all the angles and you're surrendering to fate because you just spun the wheel of fortune. You're following the laws and the rules. And now you're just waiting. After the hangman, we have death. Don't worry, if you actually see these on the cards, it doesn't mean death. It should really be called like the ending. So say you went to college, you got in your chariot, and you went to college, you spun the wheel, got a new job, but the job's really not working out. COVID just hit and you wanna work from home. So that's the end, that's the end of that job. So no one's dying, especially if you see the death card. It's like the one way you can tell no one's gonna die. Well give or take, but that's how they taught you or teach me. Um, so death is an ending. That's a change. Then we have temperance. Oh, here she is. This is a duality card. This is finding a balance. She's angelic. She also has one foot in, one foot out. She's like an angel on earth. So you want to find your balance. And then we have the devil. This is addictions. Be careful. 
if you have um, alcoholism, drug addiction, shopping, food in your family, then be really hyper aware of what your addictions are because the devil is here to remind you, you are an, an angel who came here with everything you need. And then once you get bogged down with the earthly stuff, here comes the drugs, the sex, the rock and roll to keep you off course, to make you forget that it was all born within you. So then <laughs> after the devil comes and reminds you you're a human, not an angel, no, you are a soul having a human experience. The tower comes. And I know that people think that the tower can be an unexpected fun change. Well, I always go back to 9-11. Nothing fun happened to that unexpected change. So to me, the tower is like, maybe your addictions got the better of you and every you're gonna lose everything. The tower is like a life-changing, this could be a marriage, divorce. You could literally lose your house. It could be nature, it could be anything. But some people think it's cool because it could be like, you won the lottery, that's life changing. I'd rather see like anything but the tower to tell me I was gonna win the lottery, but that's your own choice. There are no tarot police. After the tower, we have the star. So just have faith. Remember to go inside, remember to pray, remember that everything you need is within you. Don't get so bogged down in this earthly stuff. Look to the stars. Um, then after the stars, we have the moon. This is also reminding you that you have everything you need inside of you. Oh, we are you guys off the devil? Okay. Um, there you go. Okay, so everything is inside of you. There's your moon. And then we have the sun. The sun is enjoyment. That's also an optimistic card. After life falls apart, you have to have faith. The moon can also be secrets. And the sun came back to remind you to be optimistic and enjoy it, like enjoy the sun. And then we have judgment. <sighs> judgment, judgment, judgment. So the judgment is not justice. This is when you have to face yourself. You have to become true to yourself that you are an angel or a soul having, what is it, a soul having a human experience. You were born with everything you needed and you got so bogged down in the sex, drugs, and rock and roll or whatever it was that you forgot who you were. And this is your come to Jesus moment or however you call it. Like this is your, man, I'm being a human right now and it does not have to be that hard. This is who I came as. And then at the end, we have the world. So the world is completion. So we just completed our circle and now we're back to being, oh, so say, however that ends. And then we come back in for another fool's journey. <laughs> Last time you were wearing a female meat suit, this time you wanted to wear a male and you just start the trip all over again and it just stays in a circle. This can also go for any life-changing event, but I hope that helps and I hope you can see it okay. But that's the trip around the Major Arcana. Thank you, have a good night.